Ah, hey guys, wish you all a very, very happy Halloween. So let's make some bloody blood recipe. Along with this, we're going to make a ghost dosa. You will start seeing the ghost appearing. Boomba! The ghost dosa is ready. Boomba, boomba, boomba. I've lived more than 10 years in US and one festival that always intrigued me is the Halloween. Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your wash chef at whatever.com and today we're going to make the bloody blood recipe for Halloween. I wasn't joking, really blood. This is the blood of lamb and they make delicacies with this blood, you know, in the rural villages cooking. You know, once they collect the blood, they put some salt into it and that's how this gets coagulated and will look like liver. So what we're going to do, we're going to break this into small pieces. I know a lot of people will be like, God, this guy is ghostly. A lot of people who must be thinking this is ghostly. The festival itself is like that. Basically, it used to be a festival of remembrance of death of great saints. But later, you know, it is a new phenomena of carving the pumpkins and uh, kids dressing as you know in various costumes and doing trick and treat and a lot of people do this as a fear test in a lot of places so let's make this bloody blood recipe this blood we scrambled it now we're going to crush some of the ingredients and everything is ghostly we're going to put in the ding chick some ginger some garlic green chili we're going to call the dead saints Jan, 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 jan. Look at that pumpkin. Look at the faces he is making. The saints are going to come. The ghostly smell is just awesome. You know, I'll tell you something. When I was a kid, I was doing the same thing, you know, crushing the chili and one little droplet fell in my eye and I was screaming, screaming like hell. Even today, I remember the day how I was jumping around. But today, it's not about that. We're going to make the recipe here and look at the pan smoking hot so let's cook this onion to make this recipe first we're going to do a tempering with some oil you got to make the spluttering sound and we have the mustard seeds when you add it to the hot oil they better splutter in no time the mustard will splutter they will jump out of the oil trying to rescue themselves in this we're going to add chopped onion saute these onions till they are slightly colored while cutting these onions i was in all tears and so i'm going to burn these onions along with this ghostly leaves and the curry leaves makes them even more exciting and to this we're going to add the white poison yeah too much salt they call it white poison for blood but we're going to add some of this salt and let these onions brown. You know, red and yellow, rowdy fellow. So red and yellow, we're going to add some yellow into this for the red blood. So this turmeric to this. The red and yellow. Now we're going to cook this. The blood will turn black and it will mesmerize you with awesome taste. You eat it, you're gone. So let's cook this for few minutes add some woo, the sizzling water and cook this for few minutes it is getting cooked we got to add the chili woo. be careful you have to wash your hands otherwise your ass will be later so this one add into this and it will add a great flavor for your mutton blood curry saute along with it till it gives a nice aroma Let's spice it up with some more pepper. Boomba boomba. Saute it for some more time and the bloody blood curry is ready. Along with this, we're going to make a ghost dosa. You all love dosa, but ghost dosa is amazing. Oh my God, the ghosts are around. Let's trap the ghost and let's make the ghost dosa. Making the ghost dosa is very easy. Take the white dosa batter and add some cocoa powder for the eyes. And that's it. On the tawa, just add, make two eyes, big one, take the dosa batter. Now, pour it on top of it. Let's make a simple dosa. Add oil and cook the dosa and your ghost dosa will be ready. The ghost dosa 
is all ready you will start seeing the ghost now so for this first you know make sure the dosa comes off easily and then transfer it into a chopping board take a pizza cutter cut in the center like this you will start seeing the ghost appearing boom ba look at the ghost the ghost dosa is ready and he's thirsty for the blood curry i really don't know what's happening but i think the ghost are trying to escape these ones i need to do something my god <laughs> seriously i'm really scared i don't like this i'm sorry i'll never cook blood again so sorry please devils just run away please oh my god i will never 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 and with the ghost dosa mm, the blood curry awesome delicacy i am telling you you have to try this this is awesome halloween special from your washer with lots of love kids there are no ghost only one ghost is your jay mama your jay uncle and <laughs> keep cooking and tell your parents to make this ghost dosa for you and when you eat the ghost dosa you got to say what bumba 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 have a great halloween and i want you to see the money magic pumpkin carving next watch another wa magic with chef money